Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Brain Logic. happy to see you here and really interesting relaxing challenge today, 10 minus 10 divided by 2 plus 1. Maybe the easiest challenge you've ever seen, subtraction, division, addition, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, only three options, A, B and C. So choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer to this challenge and write your option down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to check up answers in the end, in the end of the video, just trust me, this is very very tricky challenge. But I want to start with this first interpretation. So take a look closely. I want to show you this first interpretation. So we have our challenge. So 10 minus 10 divided by 2 and plus 1. A lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, 10 minus 10 we have on the left hand side, which gives us 0. And we rewrite this expression. So 0 divided by 2 and plus 1. Okay. Once more from left to right, we have 0 divided by 2, which gives us 0 and 0 plus 1 which gives us 1. And we have this option A. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say that option A is a correct answer to this challenge. But I want you to understand that in math we can't solve our question randomly. We should know what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? Because right here we just solve this question wherever we want. We want to subtract, we do this, we divide right here, we add right here, so we just do wherever we want. But in terms of math it's really bad thing because we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? And in this second interpretation I want you to look at this order of operation, for example, at this PMDMC. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All the internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to this PMDMC. So a few words about this order of operation. This order of operation works from the top to the bottom. So in a strict order from the top to the bottom. So parentheses has the highest priority. First we should evaluate the expression with parentheses, then evaluate exponents orders, then evaluate multiplication division, and uh, finally evaluate addition and subtraction. Okay, so parentheses highest priority, addition, subtraction, the lowest priority. So right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC, okay? So we have 10, 10 minus 10 divided by 2 and plus and plus 1, okay? Here's our, here's our challenge. And right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC. How can we solve this question according to this order of operation? First of all, we should scan what elements do we have in our challenge. We have subtraction, division, addition. So right now let's find these elements right here. Yeah, we have subtraction, yeah, right here. We have addition right here and we have we have division in the middle, yeah? So we find our our steps right here. Division, addition, subtraction. We reject these parentheses, reject exponent, reject multiplication because we don't have it, yeah? So we have only division, addition, subtraction. And right now, as I told before, according to the order of operation, according to that, that uh, PMDMC works from the top to the bottom in a strict order from the top to the bottom, it implies that division will have the higher priority than addition and subtraction, okay? So division is our first is our first step, we should divide expression right here, okay? We should scan where do we have this division sign. We have this division sign right here in the middle, okay? So let's do this. So we have 10 minus, we have 10 divided by 2 equal to 5 and plus and plus 1. So we complete our first step with this with this division. And obviously addition subtraction will have the, the same priority, so doesn't matter. You you add it first or you subtract it first, it is, it doesn't matter for us. Okay, so we should we should uh, find our correct order and uh, we don't need our order of operation right here because this is very basic subtraction, very basic addition. So 10 minus 5 equal to 5, 5 plus 1 equal to equal to 6. So this looks like our second step, addition and subtraction, which have the, the same priority. So doesn't matter addition, subtraction, you don't need this order of operation because very basic, very basic thing right here. And as you can see, we have 10 minus 5 plus 1, it gives us 6 and it looks like a correct answer is 6, but obviously we don't have this answer right here. And and then a lot of students goes back to this wrong answer A because they say that we don't have the 6. Maybe someone solved this question like that, which is absolutely correct. But then they don't see this option and they go back to this answer A, which is absolutely wrong because we solved it according to a wrong order. We solved this question absolutely randomly, but with parentheses, this is a great solution because then we should start from parentheses. And right here, without parentheses, we start with subtraction, which is really bad because subtraction, division, addition, this is a very bad order. With parentheses, this is great great solution because then we should start from these parentheses, subtraction at first because subtraction is inside parentheses which is our first step, then division, then addition. With parentheses this is a great solution. We don't have parentheses so we should we should solve this division, subtraction, addition which gives us 6. But what about the correct answer? Right here we have 3 options and obviously 3 factorial looks like great uh, for us because it gives us 6. Yeah, we have 1 times 2 times 3 which gives us, which gives us 6. So 3 factorial this is the same as our as our 6, so we can easily write our answer, which is really tricky moment, yeah, 
answer. This is option C is a correct answer to this to this challenge. So we hope you're answering the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So I want to say thank you for your support. See you in the next videos and have a great day.